Welcome back to Supply Chain Secrets. And this week, we're going to be talking about what are the different roles in procurement? We get lots of questions about this. And to answer that question, we've got an old favorite back with us, Trent Morris. Welcome back, Trent. Great to have you with us. Thanks, Rob. So um, we're going to be talking about all the different roles in procurement from the top to the bottom, and that's coming right up. Okay, so when we're thinking about um, different roles in procurement in a smaller organization, I guess maybe you've got a procurement manager, but in a larger business, there's probably a whole hierarchy of procurement people. So maybe tell us about some of the different roles, Trent. Sure. So I guess the, the role of the organization depends on the size of the organization and ensuring that the procurement the head of procurement has the opportunity to talk at the right level with the right people. So for example, if you have a large C-suite, then you'd probably have a chief procurement officer. Uh, if he's negotiating, he or she is negotiating with people who are at the next level down, you might have a procurement director. Uh, but certainly you've got one person in charge, whether that's a CPO, a procurement director, or a procurement manager. Uh, and it really is just comes down to ensuring that that person is talking to the right people at the right level. Okay. And uh, what's next down in the chain? <laughs> sure. So that person uh, depends on the size of the organization once again and the, and the, the spend that they're trying to manage uh, and um, what level of the control they want over that spend. Mm. Typically, you'll have uh, a number of different teams. You'll have your indirect team, which is all the things that aren't directly related to the product. Mm. You'll have your directs team, which obviously, therefore, are the ones that are directly related to the product, mm. for example, ingredients or packaging. Yeah. And then you might also have a finance manager who's there to actually control the, the financial inputs and outputs mm. and ensure there's a, a certain amount of compliance there. Uh, you might have a, a separate IT and T team because it's mm. such a specialized area. And then even a, pro a project manager as well to, to look at and okay. control those longer term things that you're doing, like yeah. moving from, uh, from, from normal uh, energy sources to more sustainable mm. energy sources. That might fall okay. into a more of a project type team. Yeah, fair enough. And then as you, as you come sort of lower down in the hierarchy, what are things, uh, what do people do who are maybe procurement analysts? Sure. So a procurement analyst uh, d can work for any of the any of the mm. teams. Obviously, uh, in some of the organisations I've worked for, typically they fall into the finance team. So there's mm. a, a centralised point of, of management so that they can be uh, moved around with the other teams mm. as required. Um, but the analysts are very much there to ensure that the category managers and the sourcing managers, etc., have the support they need to do their job. Mm. Uh, and they'll they'll look at things like analysing large groups of spend to to break out the numbers of suppliers and who's spending mm. what with whom etc okay. um, and they'll also do some more complex analysis on things like sourcing mm. activities etc yeah. uh, and then obviously from there sitting in the middle between the management team and the analysts then you've got a whole heap mm. of specialists who are category managers who actually mm. manage that spend bucket uh, at the beginning of the process, they'll be working with a sourcing team. And the sourcing mm. team will go out and find uh, the supply market analysis type activities. Yep. Who's in the market? Who can do the work for what prices? Mm. And then at the back end, you've got the supplier relationship management team who then take the, the sourcing activities and then they'll mm. go through and they'll implement things like your monthly operating meetings, your quarterly okay. business reviews, your annual contract reviews, et cetera. Interesting. Okay. So maybe there might be some people watching this who are looking for jobs in procurement. Um, maybe what you've described there is quite a complex procurement organization. What kind of size of business would, would have a team like that, you know, with the CPO and all those different teams? Sure. So the, the organization that I was talking about just then mm. uh, was a $5 billion company. So quite mm. a large organization. Yeah. Uh, they had a CPO, you know, mm. the, the GM level were, were very much the indirect and the yeah. direct managers. Mm. Um, but I've also worked with organizations that were around the $50 million mark yeah. and they had purely just a procurement manager. So and just one person doing everything. Just one person doing everything. Now, they, yeah. that person may have had some financial support from yeah. the financial team, mm. um, but essentially they were the category manager. They were the supplier yeah. relationship manager. They were gotcha. the sourcing team. Um, okay. And that, they have to be a lot more agile and they have to mm. bring in other teams from, from ops or finance yeah. you know, as required to fulfill each of those, those opportunities. Okay. But simply, if you don't have a big spend, you won't mm. have a big procurement team. No. So if, uh, if someone's watching this and they want to get into procurement as a career, what sort of businesses are they better to target? One of those, you know, $5 billion ones with, with a huge team or a smaller one? 
Well, that depends. If they want to go through and do a lot of studies, uh, mm-hmm. you know, working, going straight into a, a smaller one, mm-hmm. small organization may be possible. Um, going into a big organization, you're obviously, you're, the likelihood of, of getting um, some experience uh, at mm-hmm. the lower level and then working up is higher and you won't have to do as much of that sort of intense study up front. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to do more as you go. Uh, my experience was quite different. I was a, a specialist operator in the international field and mm. I got a tap on the shoulder uh, to move across into procurement from an operational yeah. role. Okay. Um, and that's a lot of people I know in procurement have actually mm. done that. Um, but then again, a lot of people start in finance because it is mm. a natural move from a pure accounting type role or a financial mm. planning and analysis role into a procurement type okay. role. So is it, is it common, because I know people have asked this, is it common for people to move from supply chain into procurement? Because sometimes it's seen as quite a different field, isn't it, from supply chain? Uh, well, one could argue that it's the beginning of the supply chain, yeah. uh, you know, until you've actually got someone out there buying those mm. raw materials, buying those goods and services, mm. you, you don't have a supply no. chain. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I moved from supply chain and logistics into mm. a procurement role. Yeah. Uh, I know of other people who move from finance across. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think procurement, uh, quite often we'll sit with either finance or supply mm. chain. I've seen it happen in both yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it can be equally effective. Mm. Um, and so either could be a, 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 just a valid a route into the organization's yeah. procurement team from, okay. from either of those functions. Now, before we get loads of comments below about procurement's part of supply chain and all, all these different structural <laughs> things, um, I, I always say to people, don't get hung up over um, terminology and definitions and structures. Uh, they're of all course. different. So just as you were saying, Trent, in some businesses, procurement reports to finance. Um, I, I'm a sort of purist in terms of supply chain. I think procurement's part of supply chain, but yep. you know, it depends on the business and they, they all do it different ways. Yep. That's excellent. Well, thank you for that, Trent. Um, as always, folks, if you've got any questions, uh, do tap them in below. Uh, if you find these videos useful, consider subscribing. There's the red subscribe button down the bottom there. We have videos coming out every Wednesday. So actually, if you hit that bell, you'll get an email notification every time we have a video coming out. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, always great to hear your views, Trent. And in fact, we've, we've done a few videos together, so we might put some links up here. Uh, we've got one on um, procurement tips and uh, purchasing tips. And uh, I think we've got a P2P P2P one. So we'll put those links up there as well. So thank you for watching. And thank you, Trent, for joining us again. My pleasure.